The child, the Sibley Renaissance, is nearing completion a decade and turning a once thriving department store into a multi use downtown center. Thirty one Jane Chaco explains how the developers hope to bring downtown Rochester back to life in the midst of a pandemic. The reinvented Sibley Square is coming together. Many apartments are already occupied and the few that are left are being swiped up. We have rent ranging everywhere from 603 all the way up to $3,300. So anywhere, you know, that rent may fit your budget, we will definitely try and find a home for you. The bones of the ground floor are in place where soon a grocery store, local restaurants, and a commissary will be open for patrons. The developers say being in the construction phase during the pandemic is a blessing in disguise. As soon as we uh, heard about COVID and understood some of the risks, First and foremost was how do we create a safe place that people can go eat? Uh, and so we doubled the size of our dining room. Uh, we uh, created a space where no tables were closer than six feet apart. They hope this dining area will bring downtown Rochester back to life. Maybe people would stay downtown longer and people who live in the suburbs would have a reason to come downtown again. The developers are planning to mix a little bit of the old with the new. When everything is done here, they're going to put the old clock back in its original spot, and you can say, meet me under the clock once again. Developers also kept the elevator doors from the 1940s and repurposed one. I think there's such rich history that if uh, somebody doesn't stand up and take the risks, it just gets evaporated. It gets torn down and eliminated. In Rochester, Jane Chaco, 13 Wham News. I had a chance to look through that a couple of weeks ago. It is fascinating. Uh, the developer, Wynn, uh, says they are, have some interest in future projects in downtown Rochester. It's such a Boston and Rochester blended together. All right, still ahead tonight, the latest path of hurricane.